in the universe if galaxies are moving away from earth it means the light is shifting towards red end of visible spectrum hello everyone i am sanjeev kumar faculty of geography at plutus is today i bring another topic that is very basic in nature we will discuss some special fact some special information related to universe within this universe we will know how this universe was formed what is solar system what are different planets and why pluto was considered as dwarf planet in 2006 by international astronomical union so everything from very large galaxies to tiniest particle each and everything comes under the universe inside this universe let's go for the most popular theory that is big bang theory what does mean by it generally as per edwin hubble exploration the size of universe is expanding further we can understand that the size of universe increasing at present the distance between different galaxies is increasing at present which means recent studies held that near about 68 km per second per mega per second this mega per second means around 3.26 million light year away from our earth the size of universe the distance between different galaxies is increasing more than 68 km per second further the light which is coming from the galaxies is shifting towards red end of visible spectrum generally light from the sun is coming just like very much white light but when it passes through a prism it divided into seven other lights means wave gear so the long wave radiation orange or red light is coming more at present you can understand it during morning time period during evening time period the color of sun looks like red because sun remain far away from us in the afternoon when sun approaches to us then the color of light remain quite bright similarly we can associate this mechanism with the universe in the universe if galaxies are moving away from earth it means the light is shifting towards red end of visible spectrum so there are several evidences even direct observation based evidences with the help of telescope and different other scientific instrument it is realized that the size of universe is increasing okay if size of universe is expanding continuously then if we go back in time we come to the conclusion that the size of universe few million year ago billions year ago likely to be very less universe might be more compacted so based on current studies like the size of universe increasing with 68 km per second per mega per second if we calculated this backward then we come to the conclusion that the size of universe likely to be more compact earlier earlier there was a just tiny ball our universe size was just a tiny ball which expanded in few kilometer the tiny ball having highest density the tiny ball having very high temperature or you can say 
infinite density infinite temperature so when more mass get consolidated compacted in very small size the law of break, uh, physics breakdown which led to big bang explosion with this big bang explosion our universe was created which means universe with this explosion very large galaxies billions of galaxies billions of stars out of them billions of planets and various other celestial bodies like asteroid meteorites comets etc started to form so this was just hypothesis which was given by george lemaitre this george lemaitre around 1927 the belgian astronomer held that earlier the size of universe were more compacted now the size of universe is continuously increasing and around 13.7 billion year ago there was just a tiny ball which get exploded which led to formation of this universe now contrary to it during 1940s there was theory steady state theory propagated by some of the cosmologist or geographers it held that the size of universe although increasing at present but its appearance remains same over due course of time means at present the size of universe is expanding and in future the size of universe may contract but it is eternal in nature it is not subject to beginning not subject to end there is no beginning there is no end of the universe it is eternal in nature it was just contrary provision with respect to universe with respect to the big bang theory that was proposed by george lemaitre now this theory at present is very less relevant and uh, most of the scientific community generally ignored he yeah, rejected std state theory because it does not support various kind of expeditions innovations discoveries that is happening at present the most successful theory so far remain the big bang theory after that second most popular theory is nebula hypothesis theory now this nebula hypothesis theory germany based geologist emmanuel kant in 1955 provided this theory further pierre laplace in 1976 modified this theory so this theory held that earlier there was a giant cloud of gases this giant cloud of gases expanded over very large size then it was disturbed by nearby passing celestial bodies when it was disturbed it collapsed into its own gravity towards its own center when it get collapse then as it collapse it started to spin around and after spinning the central part of this nebula giant gas cloud get compacted concentrated by the centripetal force which led to formation of sun sun is the center considered as solar system the central part of solar system so this nebula hypothesis theory 
believe that due to movement of these gases different kind of stars planets and different other celestial bodies are created after big bang theory the most popular theory widely acceptable theory is nebula hypothesis theory nasa isro and various other space agency generally utilize nebula hypothesis theory or big bang theory in several expedition over the universe related to various celestial bodies there kind be various kind of nebula now moving ahead another theory that is pulsating theory this pulsating theory held that universe at one point of time expanded while at other point of time contracted so just like a pulse universe ex currently expanding and after certain time period it will stop expansion and it started to contract now question may arise why universe is expanding the universe is expanding because the size of uh universe is increasing because the distance between galaxies is increasing why distance between galaxies is increasing because galaxies are pulling away each other or the gravitational pull of various other galaxies is leading to expansion of the universe but beyond certain range as distance will be very high very great where gravitational force likely to be stop then such body may not expand further then automatically they will start to contract so this cycle likely to be occur around 18 billion years how they calculated this 18 billion years based on expansion they also assume that after limit extreme limit it will not further expand rather it will start to contract okay this is the pulsating theory failed to satiate various scientific community now we have understood about different theories associated with our universe now moving towards solar system the solar system is part of your milky way galaxy since during ancient time period some of the greek astronomer they associate the river of light in the sky means the specific region in the sky appears as river of lights so they called it akash ganga they called it akash ganga means just like river ganga flow in the sky river of lights river of various other stars likely to be flowing and later on they provided name as milky way galaxy okay because of its appearance color the solar system is inside this milky way galaxy it comprise of sun plus the planets which are revolving around it these are eight planets plus various other celestial bodies means these celestial bodies are asteroids meteoroids meteors meteorite comet etc okay now going to some special fact about the universe about the solar system sun consisting of more than 99% mass of our solar system which is at the center and away from it we have the mercury 
we have the venus mars between mars and venus we have the earth jupiter then saturn then uranus then neptune we can also remember it by an acrobat just like my very efficient mother just sent us nuts so my means mercury very means venus efficient means earth mother means mars just means jupiter sent means saturn us means uranus nuts means neptune so this is how the order how a student remember this mnemonic which is called as acrobat okay now some special fact i will tell you some of the special things okay first look difference between stars and planet stars have their own source of light planet does not have further stars may rotate may not rotate entirely made up of gases burning gases while planets may made up of gases or various other matters planet may be solid or liquid or gases but most of the time it starts consist of mainly gases inside sun generally nuclear fusion reaction is happening and hydrogen hydrogen are forming the helium and in this mechanism there is very great amount of energy is emitting means some part of hydrogen mass transformed into the energy and further it is aggravating this nuclear fusion reaction it generally happen during high temperature presence which is already available at sun further later we will understand why planets are different from the stars why we consider pluto as the dwarf planet while during 1930s it was considered as a three planet but later on in 2000 6 it was considered as the dwarf planet okay so i am not going to very much detail only telling some special detail now my question why these planets are revolving around the sun why this revolution it is because of mass of the sun further why there is rotation do you think that sun is also rotating around its axis you know that earth is rotating around its axis so why there is rotation around its axis because of gravitational force the gravitational force of earth is providing centripetal force which is forcing this earth to rotate on its axis similarly the gravitational force of sun compelling the earth to revolve around it okay now further which one planet is the hottest planet you may think that it is mercury but technically it is venus why venus is hottest planet the reason is because it consisting of more than 90% of co2 which planet is the brightest planet so it is the brightest planet which planet is the smallest that is your mercury which planet is called as morning or evening star that is your venus which planet is the brightest this is venus why it is brightest because it consist of more than 70% of albedo what does mean by albedo albedo is the power or capacity to reflect the sun rays back okay now 
coming to certain other facts which planet is rotating from east to west so this is the venus rotating from east to west while all other planet including earth rotating from west to east which planet have longer day than year so at venus year is just 225 earth days while one day at venus will be equivalent to near about 243 days 243 earth days it means here the year time is less than a day why venus rotate slower or yes, slowest this is because in the past it is believed that venus hit by some celestial bodies and uh, this collision led to a reduction of its speed not only reduction in its speed but also revolution uh, but also rotation around its axis okay the speed of revolution as well as rotation around its axis also get reversed okay now which two planets does not have the moons venus or mercury about earth is special earth axis is tilted 23 and 1/2 degree from perpendicular to plane of orbit means this angle here is 23 and 1/2 degree what does cause of this tilt why earth rotate from west to east yeah why earth having very much habitable zone condition so it is believed that the tilt of earth axis 23 and 1/2 it is towards east side maybe due to collision of different other celestial bodies if the tilt would have been missed then what would be the possibilities the possibility of this tilt if it would be missed then the length of day and night likely to be same across the globe means just like around 21st march around 23rd september the length of day and night remain quite equal across the globe okay now if this tilt would not be here then it might be possible that various kind of seasons may not be feasible here okay let's go for some of the other facts just like between which planets asteroid belt existed that is jupiter and mars except earth the mars having habitable zone like condition means life is possible over the mars after this earth now mars having two moon phobos and deimos further why this asteroid belt existed here the asteroid belt existed here between mars and jupiter because jupiter is the largest planet and it is believed that jupiter outer surface might be very loosely attached with this planet so various kind of celestial objects are detaching away from this planet and because of this detachment all such particles have accumulated between mars and jupiter jupiter being the largest planet is the region it rotate fastest among all the planet because of having largest mass it rotate in just 9.8 hours further it having 95 moons as per fab 2024 data which planet having the largest number of moon so it is not technically jupiter it looks like that it is the jupiter but it is not 
it is the saturn having the largest number of planet 146 uh, having largest number of moon 146 moons out of them titan is the largest here out of total 95 moons and the jupiter ganymede is the largest further why this saturn having the ring around it what is the reason behind these ring all these jovian planet the outer planet means from jupiter towards neptune all these outer planets generally made up of gases and these gases are burning and uh, which is the one of the main region why this saturn having ring around it now uranus and neptune they are mainly made up of gases and uh, their density is very less further because of more distance from sun they are having just like frozen surface neptune being the outermost planet generally having largest circular path so here one revolution of neptune completed near about 165 earth year so means at neptune your birthday likely to be celebrated only once in your entire life or technically you need to take twice birth for celebrating one birthday means here one year comes after 165 year so this is all about the planet now i am going to close my discussion with this pluto why pluto considered as the dwarf planet while earlier it was considered as the planet during 1930s pluto was the planet during 2006 iau consider pluto as the dwarf planet so iau international astronomical union the chief organization generally categorize any celestial body as the planet based on three criteria number one here if any celestial body having the spherical shape then it will be considered as the planet pluto has a spherical shape that criteria is qualified number two any celestial body which revolve around the sun which revolve around the star sun is a star will be considered as the planet that pluto also qualified this second criteria as well while third criteria iau decided that any celestial body which able to clear its orbital path its orbital path or neighborhood then such celestial body will be considered as the planet pluto unable or failed to qualify this third criteria means there are various celestial bodies particularly inside the kuiper belt which come in the path of this pluto so that's why pluto has been disqualified while other planets like earth venus mars jupiter etc they have sufficient gravitational force they have sufficient amount of mass that's why whatever comments in their path either such celestial body become the part of planet or they force it they expelled it yeah through out such celestial body which comes in their pair their path so all other planets are following their perfect elliptical orbital path and they are revolving around the sun in a fixed time period let's suppose earth it revolve around the sun and 365 days 6 hour 9 minute so it is perfectly following which is leading to one leap year after each and every four year because we do not include the six hour which is left and accumulated for four year as 
one extra day which we include inside the fab i hope you have understood how our universe was formed what does mean by solar system what is the difference between planets and uh, uh, star and why pluto was disqualified as a celestial body so here i am ending further see you in next lecture uh, with some another updated topic thank you very much